welcome back to Ormsby Farm. My name is Casey. So this is part two of the video of making a huge mistake and planning kind of late for my winter squashes. So in the previous video, I had harvested all the eggplant and zucchini that we had left. And as you can see, pulled all the plants. And yes, I was sleeping. I am that type of gardener. So on today's episode, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put in all of my um, winter squash that I'm going to be growing. Um, it is there, most of them are 100 to 110 days until maturity. Um, I only have about 90 days until my first frost date, but I have hope because here in Georgia, it has been sometimes that we don't even get our first frost until sometimes in December. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. A lot of y'all have given me great, wonderful advice about putting uh, straw or hay around the base of them when it comes closer to the um, first frost date. Um, so we will see, again, this is our tester year. So let's go ahead, if that is something that interests you, we're gonna go get into it. We're gonna talk about what I'm planning. Um, then stick around, let's play that intro. <music> I'm coming home. Alrighty, so we're in the garden now. I don't know if you can see me much because my camera stand is bootleg. But right now I'm going to count the number of spots. One thing that I did that I would do differently and I'm going to do differently for next year for the summer squashes is I put them way too close together. I thought that I was a cute rebel and well, I was wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do every other hole now for the winter squash and every other hole this way. So it's going to be like a plant, not plant, not plant, plant, if that makes sense. Um, I'm doing a couple different squashes. I'm going to try to do about two of every variety because as I talked about on one of my other videos, it is um, more beneficial to have at least two just in case one plant only produces female buds or only produces male buds. So that is what we're going to do. But I'm also going to plant on the row behind this trellis right here. I'm going to go ahead and put the broccoli in um, from seed because on another video, my plants were getting really leggy, so I transplanted them. They look terrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm giving up on those. And I read that you also can try to put them straight into the ground. Again, I'm super late um, if I was going to put them in the ground. Anyways, so this whole far, fall garden is going to be a test. So... Let's go ahead. I'm going to stop blabbering. I am later tonight. I will say that I have found some certain bugs. I'm going to put a little clip of them right here on the screen, um, but I'm going to do a neem oil spray later tonight. It is partly cloudy right now, but it goes in and out. So I don't want to do it now just because I don't want to burn any of my tomato and pepper leaves. Um, but they are starting to get into my crops and I ain't about that life. So let's go ahead and let's start planning. Alrighty, so I'm at this first trellis right here. This is where the summer zucchini and squash was. And if you can tell, I thought I was real cute planting them this close together. And I think I kicked myself in the butt because I think that's why they didn't produce as much. Now they produced great. We have um, probably four to five gallon sized bags of frozen zucchini and squash. Um, and we have about three whole um candy roasters that we're saving um now the candy roasters were a test this year they did really 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 well so i am going to do more of them next year but we are going to give them room to breathe and grow and do their thing so really on this one i'm literally going to do as i said every other one for the plants and this row right here i'm going to do all butternut so all I'm gonna do is I'm really, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna be super fancy. Y'all, I got my seeds in Ziploc bags to make the whole other. I have a handy dandy screwdriver that I'm gonna dig down and I am going to like everything else, give it a little bit of rabbit manure. So 
Y'all have seen me do this before, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start planting um, this. Let's see, what am I doing here? Let's do here, let's pick it together, shall we? We'll do the butter bush. No, no, let us do from Killer Ridge, let's do some acorn winter squash. And again, I'm going to plant about two um, each planting just in case one doesn't germinate. Um, and then we can kind of make movements um, once the germination. Most of the germination is about 11 to 14 days on all of them. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to do them probably about a half to an inch deep. Um, again, every other way. Then I'm going to put some uh, rabbit manure. And then I'm just going to put the seed and cover it up. And I'm going to water later tonight. Um, because it is still a little caliente. So I don't want to water right this second. But I'm going to water later tonight and give it a good start. Next, I'm going to do from Hidden Nook Homestead, I'm going to do the Buttercup. I'm back up at the house. Ooh, I look a sweaty, nasty, smelly, hot mess. I even took my hat off. Ooh, Lord have mercy. But I went ahead and I have harvested. Let's see if I can actually show you in there. Harvested some stuff in the garden. Again, I will water again later tonight. Um, but I have gotten all of the uh, winter squashes planted. I haven't got the brassicas in yet i'll probably do that tomorrow um but now it's like feeling like 900 degrees again so i was like it's time to go in and get some water so thank you so much for tuning into this video it's a very short video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you follow me throughout the fall season to see if these winter crops actually produce something i'm hoping they will fingers crossed i'm staying prayed up so y'all be sure you're subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon we're growing. I am love seeing all the new subscribers and y'all leaving comments. Thank you. Means so much to me. Um, and make sure you're also following us on Instagram and Facebook at Ormsby Farms. Um, we post there pretty much every single day except on the weekend sometimes. Um, and until next video, be blessed. See you later. I'm coming.